Yo, Kabir. Hey, Isha. Wow, Dhruv. Friends, I am Azan and welcome to KID Company with Kabir, Isha and Dhruv. Today we are going to learn greenhouse effect, greenhouse gases, global warming and pollution control. So what are we waiting for? Let us join the KID Company. This air pollution seems to be a big problem. It is. And what is even worse, air pollution can cause acid rain. What? Acid rain? What's that? Hmm, it's like this. Air pollution also causes acid rain. Some gases released by factories and vehicles can rise very high in the atmosphere. Oxide of sulfur and nitrogen mix with water vapor in the atmosphere, forming harmful substances called acids, which condense to form clouds. Winds carry clouds with acid which later comes down as acid rain. Acid rain causes extensive damage to water, forest, soil and even human health. Acid rain causes the death of young shoots and leaves of plants. It can make the soil more acidic. It also damages buildings, statues and monuments. When it enters lakes, ponds and other water bodies, it pollutes them killing fishes and other animals living in the water. Scary, isn't it? If we do not take precautions now, our future will be in danger. But how do we do it? Let's find out. What's that? It's a greenhouse. What is a greenhouse? A greenhouse is a glass house made to grow plants, especially in winter. The temperature in a greenhouse is controlled and plants are able to grow well in the warm, moist air inside. The ultraviolet and infrared rays of sunlight bring heat and light energy. They pass through the glass and warm up the inside of the greenhouse. But the glass walls prevent the heat from escaping. It's quite hot here. That's because the glass walls prevent the heat from escaping. Correct. You know what? Scientists have found that an increased level of certain gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane and water vapour in the air have a strange effect on the atmosphere. What effect? These gases trap the sun's heat. So, they allow the sun's heat to enter the earth's atmosphere but prevent it from escaping back into space. They allow the sun's heat to enter the earth's atmosphere but prevent it from escaping back into space. Would that not make the earth very hot? It does. This effect of carbon dioxide and other gases is similar to that produced by the glass of this greenhouse. It is called the greenhouse effect and carbon dioxide and the other gases are called greenhouse gases. Let me tell you of some greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide, excess burning of fossil fuels, smoke from vehicles and industries and destruction of rainforest cause an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide gas produced. If this increase in the levels of this gas continues at the present rate, more heat will be trapped and the temperature of the earth will increase. Another greenhouse gas is methane. Animal dung is used as natural fertilizer in fields. This gives out methane gas to the atmosphere, causing the earth's temperature to rise. Another greenhouse gas, CFC, chlorofluorocarbons. 
CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons are chemicals which are widely used in air conditioners, refrigerators and other industrial processes. They are also responsible for warming up the earth. In fact, greenhouse gases like the CFC or chlorofluorocarbons have also caused great harm to the ozone layer of the atmosphere. The ozone layer in the atmosphere protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. In fact, scientists have discovered holes in the ozone layer. If this thinning of the ozone layer continues, more of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays will reach the earth. Greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat and cause the atmosphere to warm up and the earth's surface to heat up. There is a gradual rise in the temperature. This warming of the earth is called global warming. Let us come out of this greenhouse. Yeah, it may be good for the plants, but not for us. But if the greenhouse gases continue to increase in the atmosphere out there, the earth will heat up so much that it will be bad for us all, animal, plants and even aquatic life. This is what is called the effect of global warming. But tell me, how could global warming cause us trouble? Hmm, it's like this. Global warming takes place very slowly and scientists believe that the earth has become slightly warmer over the last hundred years because of the increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. If this warming continues, it will disturb the earth's environment and will be harmful to life on earth. Because of heating of the earth, there will be the melting of the polar ice caps. This in turn will lead to an increase in the levels of seawater. High levels of seawater could lead to the flooding on the land. Abracadabra! <laughs> What's happening? The ice caps in the mountains are melting because of global warming. Uh, uh, and the sea is rising! Yes, but, but what do we do? We have to prevent air pollution. Prevent air pollution? Uh, uh, how? Uh, stop scratching your head. Tell us before we all drown. Okay, okay. We have seen how air pollution affects us and the environment. We should ensure that the following steps are taken to stop air pollution. Check our cars and other vehicles for pollution control. We should use public transport as much as possible to reduce the number of vehicles on the road. Walk or cycle to nearby distances. Use eco-friendly fuels such as compressed natural gas, CNG, to run cars and buses. Use eco-friendly pesticides and insecticides such as bioneem which are easily decomposed and do not harm the environment. Educate people about the harmful effects of pollution. Polluting industries should be shifted away from residential areas. Tall chimneys with filters must be fitted in factories to release smoke and gases far away from populated places. <sighs> I thought I was going to die. Me too. But we would if we don't prevent air pollution. Now what's this? Yuck! That's water pollution. Look, the sea is rising again. Abracadabra! Oh no, I am a little worried about Isha and Kabir. But we have learned about greenhouse effect, greenhouse gases, global warming and pollution control. Till then, next episode of KID Company Keep learning, keep practicing by logging on to topperlearning.com. Bye-bye.